All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 4 is equal to 4. So I'm going to first start by subtracting 4 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x to the power of 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. Now x to the power of 4, I can rewrite as x to the power of 2 times 2. And 4, I can rewrite as 2 squared. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So x to the power of 2 times 2, that's going to equal x to the power of 2 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 2 squared is equal to 0. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is x squared and b is 2. So I have x squared plus 2 times x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have x squared plus 2 is equal to 0, and x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. So for x squared plus 2 equals 0, I can subtract 2 on both sides. So then these two cancel out, and I have x squared is equal to negative 2. So now to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of negative 2 is the square root of 2 times the square root of negative 1. Now, if you guys already know, the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So I have x is equal to positive or negative the square root of 2i. Now for x squared minus 2 equals 0, I can simply add 2 on both sides and I get x squared is equal to positive 2. Now to solve this, I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of, and this is equal to positive or negative square root of 2. So now, I'm going to check my original equation was x to the power of 4 is equal to 4. So the square root of 2 to the power of 4, because this is an even exponent, it doesn't matter if it is positive or negative. It's going to be the same result. The square root of 2 is the same thing as 1 half. So I have 2 to the power of 1 half to the power of 4, which is equal to 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 4. So this works. And for the square root of 2i, it's exactly the same thing. There's no difference. So my four solutions are right. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 40. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking log from both sides. So now I have log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 40. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 4 to the power of x, so I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 4 is equal to log 40. Now, I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides by log 4. So then these two cancel out, and now I have x is equal to log of 40 over log 4. Now, log 40, this is the same thing as log of 4 times 10. Is log 40, 40 is equal to 4 times 10. So I have this over log 4. And now if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. 
So in this case, I have log four times 10. So this is equal to log four plus log 10. And now I have this over log four. Now log four plus log 10 over log four, this is the same thing as log four over log four plus log 10 over log four. And log four and log four, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to one plus log 10 over log four. So now log 10, this is the same thing as one. Log 10 is equal to one. So now I have x is equal to one plus one over log four. And log four is equal to 0 0.602. So now I have x is equal to one plus one over 0 0.602, which is equal to one plus 1.66, meaning x is equal to 2.66. All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of x to the power of four is equal to 64. So I need to find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm going to first start by taking the power of 4 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 4 to the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So I can switch the places of m and n here. So in this case, we can think of x to the power of 4 here as m and 4 as n. So if I switch the places of these two, I get x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now I'm going to replace 64 with 8 squared. So now I have x to the power of 4 to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 8 squared to the power of 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So a to the power of 2 to the power of 4, that's going to equal a to the power of 2 times 4 which is equal to a to the power of eight. So I have x to the power of four to the power of x to the power of four is equal to a to the power of eight. Now I'm going to let x to the power of four equal to the variable y. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to a to the power of eight. And if I have something from a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b, meaning y is equal to eight. Now remember how we let x to the power of four equals y. So if x to the power of 4 equals y and y equals 8, then this means that x to the power of 4 is equal to 8. So now to solve this equation, I'm going to take the fourth root on both sides. So the fourth root of x to the power of 4 is x, and so I have x is equal to fourth root of 8. So now to check. My original equation was x to the power of x to the power of 4 is equal to 64. x is equal to the fourth root, fourth root of 8. So now I have 4th root of 8 to the power of 4th root of 8 to the power of 4 is equal to 64. Now the 4th root of 8 to the power of 4 is simply 8. So now I have 4th root of 8 to the power of 8 is equal to 64. Now this is the same thing as 8 to the power of 8 over 4 is equal to 64 meaning a to the power of 2 is equal to 64, and 64 equals 64. So this is right. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of x is equal to 100. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 100 as 10 squared. So from here, I can rewrite 10 squared as 3.16 squared
to the power of 2 because 10 squared is, or sorry, 10 is the same thing as 3.16 squared. Now, this is the same thing as 3.16 to the power of 4 because these two multiply. And now I can rewrite 4 here as 1.1126 times 3.593. And the reason I'm doing this is so I can write this as 3.16 to the power of 1.1126 to the power of 3.593. And 3.16 to the power of 1.1126 is 3.593. So I get x to the power of x is equal to 3.593 to the power of 3.593, meaning x is equal to 3.593.